Good morning everyone from Albury, New South Wales. Today is the 10th of January 2024 and this is my first trip of the year. Now this trip is something a little bit different so I thought I'd bring you all along and and well tell you all about it. Now behind me here is some of the former Spirit of Progress cars on standard gauge and these are owned and operated by Seymour Railway Heritage Centre. As well as that, there are a few V-Line carriages in the mix as well. Now, this all steel body consist ran empty up here this morning from Seymour Railway Heritage Centre. So we left at just after 4 a.m. to uh, get here nice and early. But what are we doing here? Well, we're here at Albury, the former break of gauge railway station to pick up some passengers. Now, those passengers are with Cruise Express and this trip is the Cunada. And they've got a nice new headboard on the front of the locomotive to run this train back to Melbourne. So we're going to leave here in about 30 minutes and we're going to go all the way to Southern Cross in the city and then we're going to drop everyone off and we're going to run empty back to Seymour. Now the reason I'm starting here in Albury for this video is because well we left Seymour at like I said just after 4am so it was really dark and there wasn't a lot to see but I thought I'd bring you all along to yeah come for a bit of a tour somewhere different with a very different train because it's seldom you get a empty train almost all to yourself which is extremely unique and yeah anyway look enough talking let's get into it and we'll go down and check out this train grouse So the locomotives on today's trip are a couple of, well, icons of the Victorian Railways. You've got S307, which is going to lead us back to Melbourne, which is former Victorian Railways. It's been with V-Line, it's been with Pacific National, and now it's with Seymour. It's got the headboard on there, the Cunada, which is fantastic to see. And of course, behind it is another icon of Victorian Railways, C501, George Brown, or Big George. Anyway, it's a beautiful day today. It'll be around 30 degrees, the sun's out, everyone's happy, everyone's stoked to be riding this thing back to Melbourne. And, uh, well, so am I. Albury Station has a fantastic platform. It's a fantastic station in general. I mean, it once was a former hive of activity with many lines coming into here, break of gauge, both standard and broad gauge behind me. Nowadays, not so much. Most freight trains just keep running straight through. Sometimes they go up to Edamoga. Uh, which I've covered in another video. And of course, you still have V-Line running here, but it's all standard gauge now. So it's definitely a place worth visiting if you are in the area, but it's not as much, well, a hive of activity as it used to be. Anyway, I do one day intend to make a video on this area because it is fascinating, but not today. Today, we're riding trains, playing big trains. It's fantastic. Great way to start the year. Anyway, we're gonna go get back on board because we're gonna leave in a minute and, uh, well, head back to Melbourne. Now, because we are using steel cars, we do get to run at the line speed of 115 kilometers an hour. So it'll be a pretty brisk trip back, all things going accordingly. Now, of course, we'll probably cross some other trains. We did get very lucky earlier with the Great Southern coming past us, which is another iconic train. It runs from Brisbane through to Adelaide with a journey beyond. But it was great to see them pass each other. Real treat. So we saw a couple of freight trains earlier this morning, but it was in pitch black. So hopefully, well, Hopefully now we'll catch some, catch some others throughout the day. So let's climb back aboard and uh, get into it. Excited. All right, so quick update. It's now 11 a.m. and we are back in Seymour. So they're gonna do a crew change here, both the conductor and the drivers. And we're gonna go on to Melbourne, which is about 100 kilometers away. So it'll take us about an hour, depending. Now we did see a couple of trains, well, just 
we're really just one, which is the XPT, which is off to Sydney. And uh, now, oh, and there was a high rail, something different. And yeah, we'll keep moving along. So far, so good, beautiful day. Couldn't have asked for better weather. Everyone seems to be having a great time. So onwards to Melbourne. Alright, so it's now about 2.15 in the afternoon and we are back at Southern Cross Railway Station, formerly Spencer Street Station, which for those of you who don't know, is the main railway station in Melbourne. So we got in a little bit late. We have been running on time, in front of time, in front of schedule almost all day until we got to Tottenham, where we had to sit and wait a while because there was a, apparently, a signal failure. Regardless, we got in here about quarter past one Everyone has detrained and they've gone off to their hotel and then they've got activities and things like that. Now, we are going to run empty again back from here, Southern Cross Railway Station, all the way back to Seymour, which should take about an hour again. However, who knows? We've now missed our path. We're about, well, an hour behind. So, yeah, uh, pretty excited. We could jump at any second. We've, we've all gone and got something to eat and come back and the locomotives have run around and, well, now the adventure continues and... I guess we'll eventually conclude. But yeah, how cool is this? Get a whole train to ourselves. Um, this is a former V-Line N-set carriage. Uh, still pretty much in the same condition as when it retired, which honestly was like less than 12 months ago. So it's kind of neat uh, that, that we've got these now in preservation and it's nice and modern and there's air conditioning and they're comfortable seats and they're quiet, much nicer than the velocities. Anyway, I digress. Um, I guess we'll hang out and wait for this thing to leave and then we'll catch back up at, at Seymour, possibly along the line. Keen to get into it, keep going. It's been a fantastic day. Excellent, in fact. Right, so it's now about 4.30. Hold the phone, here comes a train. Right, so behind me there is an Oakland's Grain, uh, Pacific National Grain train uh, has just come past just as I started recording. How, uh, how convenient. Anyway, we're back at Seymour Railway Heritage Centre, which uh, I have made a video about before, but if you do want to find out more information about Seymour Railway Heritage Centre and Cruise Express, I will, of course, leave those links in the description below. Anyway, uh, we are going to now journey back to Melbourne in the car. Hopefully, we might see some trains. Obviously, we just got one as, uh, as we've just started filming here, um, but apparently there is an Horizon 
intermodal train that has left Melbourne uh, just behind us. So we'll head back, we'll try and catch it, and then I'll probably wrap this up. So all in all, it's been an amazing day, fantastic day, but uh, long, but it's, it's all good. It's all part of the fun. You can't have a bad day on the trains. Anyway, I'm gonna jump in the car and uh, get cracking. Right, back to Melbourne. Very funny. Alrighty, it's nearly five o'clock and I'm going to end it here. It die start. Now die start used to be a, I'm probably gonna get this wrong, but I'm sure someone will correct me. A military base or an ammunitions dump uh, or an ammunitions warehouse storage just outside of Seymour on the Melbourne side. Now behind me here, something I, I probably should uh, say and something I, I realize some people don't know, Victoria, where I live, has two gauges. We have standard gauge, four foot eight and a half, and we have broad gauge, which is five foot three. And the broad gauge runs all the way to Seymour and then off to Shepparton, uh, whereas the standard gauge goes all the way to Albury, then all the way to Sydney. Uh, and today's tour was on standard gauge. So something a bit different and a bit unique, and I really hope you enjoyed coming along. So if you do have any questions, you want to find out more, I will leave all the appropriate links in the description below, as well as all the well contact information for Seymour Railway Heritage Centre and Cruise Express. If that is something that you'd be interested in. But um, I'd like to say a huge thank you to Richard and the team at Seymour for letting us come along today and for the ride and, and the experience. It was something really amazing and yeah, can't thank them enough. Anyway, I hope you've all enjoyed coming along. We're gonna wait here for this Horizon Intermodal to come through. There are four locomotives on the front. I will post, well, I'm sure when it comes up, it will say what the locomotives are because I'm not 100% sure just off the top of my head. Anyway, it's enough rambling. I'll leave you with this train coming along. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Hey, Root. There it is.